provide a resource for advanced ESR or electronic spin resonance technologies. We believe that ESR and spectrometers such as the one with the Loxamine should be used in all research facilities, medical facilities, and even breweries. So historically, a lot of these ESR spectrometers were very, very big, but the company Psy2 Tech was able to produce this small benchtop ESR spectrometer that has widespread, widespread applications in many humans. Here is our sample, a solid tri-radical. We position it in the resonator using a template provided by Psy-Q Tech. The position is marked now. To quantify the free radical content in the sample and to confirm the tri-radical nature, we use a reference sample of copper chloride with known weight. Mark it in the same way. Now our tri-radical sample is in the spectrometer. Now we set our acquisition parameters. Center field, field sweep, modulation amplitude, number of scans, etc. And start recording. And here is our spectrum, a broad singlet. Now we've replaced our sample with the copper chloride reference. We start to record with the same parameters. Here is the spectrum. Gently move it to the center, and once it's there, we can seal this end in the flame. And then gently shake so that the solution travels to the end of the tube. The recommended length for the sample is about one centimeter in the capillary. Then you put the capillary inside of a larger ESR tube, and then just as we did before, we line it up, and use a marker to mark the top of the tube. And here comes our spectrum. First, the satellite line. And now the first line of the triplet. Here is the full triplet.
In the zoom, we can see satellite lines from the carbon-13 isotope in addition to nitrogen-15.